In this video, we look at conjugate acid-base pairs. In this reaction, we have ethanoic acid reacting with water to form the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion. And the reverse reaction, we have the hydronium ion reacting with the ethanoate ion to form water and ethanoic acid. So in the forward reaction, the ethanoic acid is donating a proton to the water, which is accepting the proton. And in the reverse reaction, the hydronium ion is donating a proton to the ethanoate ion, which is accepting the proton. So in the reaction above, ethanoic acid is acting as a Bronsted-Larry acid, and the ethanoate ion is acting as a Bronsted-Larry base by accepting the proton from the hydronium ion. So they are known as a conjugate acid-base pair. And the water, it's accepting a proton from the ethanoic acid. And on this side, it's donating a proton to the ethanoate ion. So that's also another conjugate acid-base pair. So H2O is acting as a Bronsted-Larry base. And H3O plus is acting as a Bronsted-Larry acid. And that's the conjugate acid-base pair again. And a conjugate acid-base pair differ by a proton or a H+. So if we compare ethanoic acid and the ethanoate ion, the difference between the two is a proton, a hydrogen ion. And water and the hydronium ion, the difference between these two is a H plus ion. So next we'll try some more examples. In this reaction here, we'll identify the two conjugate acid-base pairs. The ammonia is accepting a proton from the water, which makes it a Bronsted-Larry base, and the water here is acting as a Bronsted-Larry acid. On this side, the NH4 plus is donating a proton to the OH negative, so this NH4 plus is acting as a Bronsted-Larry acid, and the OH negative is acting as a Bronsted-Larry base. So, NH3 and NH4 plus are a conjugate acid-base pair. They differ by one proton. And H2O and OH negative are also a conjugate acid-base pair. Again, they differ by a proton. So here we have another example. The HO4 negative is donating a proton to the H2O. So this is the Bronsted-Larry acid and H2O is acting as a Bronsted-Larry base. On the right side, we have the SO4 2 negative, And that's accepting a proton from the H3O plus in the reverse reaction. So the H3O plus is acting as a Bronsted-Larry acid and the SO42 negative is acting as a Bronsted-Larry base. So H2O and H3O plus are a conjugate acid-base pair. They differ by one proton. And HSO4 negative and SO42 negative are a conjugate acid-base pair also because they differ by a proton. So here's another example. We have HNO3, which is nitric acid and H2SO4 which is sulfuric acid. Now they are both acids however in this reaction of course one of them is going to act as a Bronsted-Larry acid and the other will act as a Bronsted-Larry base. So if we look at the right side of the equation we can see that the H2SO4 has donated its proton to the HNO3. So the H2SO4 on the left side is acting as a Bronsted-Larry acid and the HNO3 is acting as a Bronsted-Larry base. And in the reverse reaction, the H2NO3 plus is donating a proton to the HSO4 negative. So this is the Bronsted-Larry acid and this is the Bronsted-Larry base. In terms of the conjugate acid-base pair, we look for the two that differ by a proton. So it's HNO3 and H2NO3 plus. And the other conjugate acid-base pair is H2SO4 and HSO4 negative. And moving on to the last example, to identify the conjugate acid-base pair, we just look for the two species that differ by a proton. So it's H2PO4 negative and HPO42 negative are a conjugate acid-base pair. And OH negative and H2O are another conjugate acid-base pair. Next, we look at water as an acid or a base. H2O is able to act as an acid donating a proton or as a base by accepting a proton. In this equation here, the water is donating a proton to the ammonia, which makes the water a Bronsted-Larry acid. In this equation here, the HSO4 negative is donating a proton to the H2O, which is accepting a proton, which makes it a Bronsted-Larry base. 
So this is a property known as being amphoteric, and that's the ability to act as an acid or a base. So water is amphoteric. Other examples include the HCO3 ion, the hydrogen carbonate ion, and ammonia, NH3.